I absolutely love winter and I absolutely do not love being cold. It's the only thing about winter I don't like. I love the styles, I love the sweaters, I love the boots and the jackets. Which leads me to our episode today. I found this article from Buzzfeed that has 31 items that you're gonna need when it starts getting cold. I love Buzzfeed, it's so fun to read their articles, but they always have the longest list. It's either 31 of this or 34 of that. I can't show you all 31 items. We would be here all day long. So I decided to take five items from their list, five items that I wear during the winter, and these are the items I think are gonna keep you warm during the winter time. Just in case you wanna poke around and check out all 31 items, that again is down below. I do have some shopping links below also, so if I show you something you like, you can be like, ooh, I need that to stay warm that will be down below. And don't forget to like and follow because we always have so much fun and I'm always showing you cute and trendy stuff. And today I'm showing you cute and trendy stuff that's gonna keep you warm. But before we start, I do have to mention the simple fact that I do look a little bit different today. I did a little something radical with my hair. I shaved off all my hair the other day and I Absolutely love it. So yes, I am gonna talk about beanies because I'm gonna be wearing a lot of them this winter, keeping my little noggin warm. But let's take a look at the first item that's gonna keep you warm this winter. The first thing I'm gonna show you on their list is a parka. They mentioned a parka a couple of times. It's like number three and number 22 on their list. And parkas are the most popular coat to have during the winter. Now, some of the features for a parka is, parkas are insulated, great, you gotta stay warm. Parkas are waterproof, so it's gonna keep you warm and dry during either the rain or the snow. And I think one of the coolest features of parkas is the simple fact that they have pockets and zippers everywhere. Now this parka that I have, this is the first time I've ever had one like this. And the first time I put it on, I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I have a zipper here. I have a pocket here. I have a pocket on my sleeve. Why do I have a pocket on my sleeve? And what it is, is that if you are in extreme cold, you don't want to be fumbling around for your purse to try to get your keys or your credit card or your phone. So instead you put them in all your little convenient pockets so that way, with your little mittens, you can be like, zip, here's my credit card. And then you're like, zip, and then you keep it safe. Not only is your parka gonna keep you warm, it's gonna keep you organized. The second item that they mentioned is the black puffer. And much like the little black dress, because we've all heard about the little black dress, how we all need one, that it's a go-to staple, so is your black puffer. And I have to agree with them, 100%. My black puffer that I have is that one jacket that no matter what I'm wearing, I grab it and it keeps me warm and it goes with whatever I'm wearing. Now your black puffer is like the parka's little sister. It does the same thing, it's just not as big. It's not going to be as big, as bulky, as heavy. And while it keeps you warm and it's going to keep you dry because it should be waterproof also, it's just not going to keep you as warm. It's just a little bit more of a casual, lighter version of your parka. Now your puffer jacket is typically gonna have your quilted signature look, and you can actually get your puffer jacket in either a down version or a synthetic fiber version. And unlike the puffer's bigger sister, the parka, I think puffer jackets are a great layering item. So you can use your puffer jacket as a jacket on its own, or you can actually use it as a layering item in order to keep you snuggly and warm during those really, really cold winter months. The third item we're gonna talk about is the oversized turtleneck. Now, when you're sitting there, you're like, oh cool, a turtleneck, ah. But with an oversized turtleneck, if you get them long enough, you can actually make a dress out of it too. Now a turtleneck's gonna do a great job keeping you warm. Whether it's an oversized chunky one or it's a regular fitting turtleneck, it keeps your neck warm, it keeps your core warm, it keeps your arms warm. Keeping you warm is important, but having something in your closet that can actually be worn in multiple ways is always a plus in my world. And the really cool thing, and I think the really cool thing, is that if you get your oversized turtleneck sweater long enough, you can actually make a dress out of it. It is so cute to have just this oversized turtleneck. 
you have on a cute pair of tights, put on some lug sole boots, maybe put a vest over the top of that, and bam, you have yourself a cute, warm outfit going from fall into winter. And if you wanna wear it during the winter, just put your oversized puffer jacket over the top of that, and you have a really cute outfit. There are just so many different ways to style this oversized turtleneck sweater while staying warm, cute, and stylish during the winter. Number four is the shacket. And I absolutely love a shacket. Much like the black puffer, your shacket is going to be one of your go-to pieces and it is just really cute. It's a really cute, stylish way to stay warm. Now your shacket's gonna come in more colors, more varieties, different weights, different lengths than any other thing that I'm showing you. But what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that you find the jacket that is most comfortable for you. So you can go for your casual, flowy, oversized jacket like Free People, but you can also have more of a tailored, more of a structured look like your Banana Republic one. And then like I said, you can go like your H&M one and have one that looks almost like a coat. So regardless, like I said, you almost have too many varieties to pick from, but pick one, it will be your go-to. Grab it whenever you want to. It will keep you warm. It will be a great layering piece, but just have fun exploring the world of the multitude of different jackets you can pick. Item number five on the list is the most casual item that we're gonna be looking at, and this is the half zip pullover. This is a newer style that hasn't been around that long. And you can actually get this one in either more of an athletic look that is a great layering piece, or you can get one that's a little bit fancier made out of a sweater material that would be great for work. Or you can get one that's neither of those and you can get one that's just cute and fuzzy. And just like the jacket, there are so many different varieties. The last one I'm gonna show you is this pile fleece. This one will be great on its own. You can wear it with some leggings, you can wear it with a jogger, put it over the top of your long sleeve shirt and it's gonna keep you warm and it's cute and it's fashionable and it has a pop of color. And like I said, again, you just zip up your zipper and you're like, hmm, I'm all nice and snuggly while I'm bright and cute. And just like the jacket, pick the half zip that you think that you're gonna get the most use out of and that's the one that you need to get. And the last item I'm gonna mention that was not on their list and I don't understand is the beanie. So if you're like me and you shaved off all your hair, you're really gonna need a beanie. And I am 100% prepared to wear my beanies all winter long. And I do have a really good variety and I think it's gonna be cute because I can wear them down like that or I can wear them a little bit more like that. And the thing is, is I never knew what to do with my hair when I was wearing a beanie. And now I know what to do with my hair. There's nothing I can do with my hair because it's all gone. But I will have a nice warm head because I have a beanie. So the last item that I recommend that you have to keep yourself warm is one of these. Grab yourself a beanie. Those are the five items off of BuzzFeed's list. Don't forget, I have the full article down below. And I hope I gave you some ideas on how you can stay warm during the winter while still having your own personality and your own style. I also have those shopping links down below and don't forget to like and follow because you just never know what we're gonna be talking about next. So remember, stay warm and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.